So in this video, I want to talk about the selective hydrogen substitutions. So essentially, um, which hydrogen a uh, halogen will pluck off to form the molecule. So for example, let's say we have something like this. For chlorination, we'll do chlorination and bromination. And first off, it's important to remember that the rates for bromination and chlorination, so for tertiary, so bromination and chlorination. We have tertiary, secondary, and primary carbons. And so the relative rate, which means the higher it is, the more likely like it's going to react. So bromine is 1600 for a tertiary, and then 97 for a secondary, and 1 for a primary. Chlorination is 5.5, .5, and then 4.2, and then 1. And so essentially what that means is Bromine is going to be more selective and pluck off a hydrogen from the tertiary carbon. And so let's look at that more specifically. So chlorination, we'll start with chlorination. So chlorination. So let's say we have a chlorine radical and then something like this. So CH3, 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 and then there's an implied hydrogen there. So what can happen is the chlorine can take a hydrogen from here or there. And so the result would either be, uh, we'll draw it out like this, so... CH3, 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 and then a radical there. Or you could have the other H removed, and so you would have CH3, CH3, H coming off of the middle, and CH2 with a radical on that carbon. So when it comes to the thermodynamics this right here this molecule this radical is more to form it is more exothermic and so this would be more stable so more stable than the other one but let's look at bromination for the same thing. So bromination. So we'll start with the same thing, a bromine radical. And then CH3, 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 and then an H. And so this can make two radicals, once again, the same thing as the um, example before. So this time I'm not going to draw out the CH3s, it's just going to be implied. So that would be one, and this would be the other one. So C H 2 and then a radical there. And so the thing to remember is bromination bromination is endothermic and so as a result the final products this and this are gonna have a greater difference in stability um, while, actually, 
it's probably not best to think of it like that. They have um, the transition state for bromination more resembles the products. So essentially what you need to take from this is that bromination is more selective. So when you use bromine versus chlorine, bromine will always go for the more substituted radicals. So this one right there. While chlorine, it's not as reliable, like you'll get a mixture of products, while bromine, it's most, like 99% the tertiary. And so if you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it and share it with your friends.